last year I was actually signed up to do it. Here I am now to see what the, the Crusher and the Tusher is all about. Staying focused and finding the best lines is my like priority. The gravel looks a little bit more gnar this year. I'm really, really nice in real life. Like, you know, just hanging out and talking to people, but when I get into race mode, I get into race mode. People ask me what my favorite tire is, what my best tire is, and that's the one I haven't had a flat on, and that's the ones we're running now. I'm liking the wind and heat, so it blows real hard where I'm at, out in the desert. It's going to put me in my comfort zone. I want to be as competitive as I can, actually making it up that last climb and getting to that finish line. Um, not completely cracked. We're all you know, coming together and just making this thing what it is, and it's, it's been amazing. It's the people. I always say it's, it's a we thing and not a me thing here. It's the volunteers, it's the riders, it's the spectators, it's the community, it's the people that partner with the event. It's like, it's the whole package. to stand on the start line with these women that I was like, oh my god, I love every single one of these people. Yeah. I think my other favorite moment was hitting the pavement after that gnarly washboard descent where I oh. thought all of my insides were going to fall out. You have people coming out of the forest on these quads and these ATVs and the razors and trucks and they're like, they have cowbell, and they know the race is happening. So uh, I actually felt the love on the course all day today. People knew what was going on. This is the only mountaintop finished gravel race that I know of, at least. So I wanted to put a stamp on it. It's really nice to come up to elevation and uh, get, a, get a win out of that. I was fourth at the bottom of the climb on the way back out, and I knew that if I had an okay climb once I got to the top, I could start really turning the gears. And I was third at the top, and I knew I had a minute or two into the leaders, and you know, dropped a few gears and uh, started passing them. And in the end, I think I ended up with a few minutes of a lead. Yeah. 